Hello, my name is uh, Konstantinos Lazaridis. I'm a consultant in the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at Mayo Clinic. The objective of this presentation today is to describe the significance of our established PSC Biobank and to update you on our current efforts to expand this unique research resource in order to accelerate the discovery of novel biomarkers as well as drug targets facilitating improved prognostication and treatment of primary cirrhosis pancreatitis. Advancements in omics data acquisition technologies as well as analytical solutions are driving a renaissance in clinical discovery and offering great promise for individualized approaches to treatment of complex diseases such as primary sclerosis and pancreatitis. Nevertheless, translational success in such endeavors requires access to a wide range of human biospecimens collected under standardized platform appropriate conditions and linked to clinical data. Obtaining such numbers of high quality specimens from well phenotyped individuals to adequately power discovery efforts can be quite challenging, especially for rare diseases such as primary sclerosis pancreatitis. An active biobank able to collect samples from a large number of patients at regular intervals over many years and capable of adjusting collection scope and methodology to meet emerging needs is required if we were to achieve robust clinical benefits for patients with PSC. Because of patients' trust and support, we have been working to meet this need for over 13 years by establishing and growing the Mayo Clinic PSC Biobank. We have had the privilege to work with hundreds of PSC patients to create this unique registry and biorepository. To this end, we have successfully gathered blood-derived biospecimens from over 1,500 PSC patients and used those specimens to make significant contribution to the worldwide effort to better understand the genetics of PSC through genome-wide association studies. Today, we are continuing such efforts by employing next-generation sequencing-based approaches and have also recently begun testing other source samples for suitability in a broad range of omic-based applications. Our recent successes in this regard include assessments of exposomes and metabolomes in plasma samples and methylomes in DNA samples. While these approaches are beginning to afford a better understanding of mechanisms underlying the pathogenesis of primary sclerosis cholangitis, past sampling of individual patients was limited to one-time collection. This situation has restricted our ability to assess disease progression and perform time-to-invent analysis, important for discovery of novel prognostic biomarkers as well as drug targets. Moreover, many potentially informative specimen types were not collected under our previous efforts. Our current iteration to our sample collection process aspires to overcome limitations of our early efforts and we now collect stool, circulating cell-free DNA and whole blood RNA in addition to DNA, plasma and serum which we were previously collecting. Our current funding streams are stable and cover costs related to infrastructure, maintenance, sample storage, two full study coordinators, as well as costs related to collect the complete biospecimen package. We would like to leverage these opportunities, and therefore we ask for your participation in our current and future biobank efforts. This is critical for us to continue our endeavor to find a cure for PSC. Thank you for your time and for your attention.